Hello and welcome beloved children of God. Are you ready to learn something so beautiful about yourself from the Word of God through the Rhapsody of Realities? Pastor Chris titles this article, He Does Not Work by Feelings. Hallelujah! John chapter 14 verse 20 from where our opening verse is taken reads, At that day ye shall know that I am in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you. Glory to God! Once I asked someone, what does the power of God feel like and where do you feel it? He couldn't tell. So I began to explain it to him. We can have feelings all over our body and recognize it's the power of God. We can have feelings in our hands and recognize it's the power of God. But here is the question. What if you don't feel it? Will it mean God is no longer there or his power is absent? That is where a lot of people miss it. When you feel the power or presence of God, it is good. But God doesn't want you to feel anything for you to know He is with you and in you. This dependency on feelings has destroyed the faith of many. He does not work by feelings. In the New Testament, it makes no difference whether or not you feel the power or presence of God. I've felt the power of God many times and I've also had occasions where I didn't feel anything but I had just as much results as when I felt it as when I didn't because I understood that the feeling had nothing to do with it. Understand something. The totality or fullness of the Holy Spirit lives in you. It doesn't get better than that. Hallelujah. God doesn't increase himself or reduce himself in you. He dwells in you in his full measure. Are you aware that God isn't more in heaven than he is in you? You are his living tabernacle, his habitation and his mobile headquarters. You are in him and he is in you. In other words, you've become his habitation and he is become your habitation. Hallelujah! You live in him and he lives in you. This has fulfilled the dream of Jesus Christ in his prayer to the Father as read in our theme verse, I am in my Father and ye in me and I in you. The Holy Spirit made it happen. You are inseparably one with him. So, don't rely on your feelings in relating with God. Rely on his word. God is a spirit and he relates with you with your spirit through the word. If you'd understand this, your whole life, your ministry, your prayer life, your worship will be completely transformed and you will live every day in glory, dominion and excellence. Glory to God. Hallelujah. This is revolutionary. With this understanding, you could never be discouraged, upset or moved by any circumstance because you live according to what the word says. Praise be to God. So wherever you are, get excited as we declare this confession together. I live in Christ and Christ lives in me. I am his habitation and he is my habitation. I am walking in the light of my oneness with him and my relationship and fellowship with him burgeon ever gloriously in Jesus' name Amen Hallelujah For our further studies today you may note down these following scriptures in Romans chapter 8 verse 8 Philippians chapter 3 verse 3 and John chapter 14 verses 16 to 17 Praise the Lord! This is the platform created for God's people to be edified through the Word and also to reach the unreached with the message of Jesus Christ. Be part of this divine work as you subscribe to this channel and also share these podcasts to those in your sphere of contact, whether your loved ones, your friends, your co-workers. Whether it seems like it or not, they are in the dark waiting for the light of God's Word to come to them. And that can happen through you today. Hallelujah! We are impacting lives with the gospel all over the world with the Rhapsody of Realities in the language of their hearts. So download a copy for yourself today from the website in our description and continue to impact lives with the gospel wherever you are. Praise the Lord! We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me 
and God raised him from the dead. I believe he is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through him and in his name, I have eternal life. I'm born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I'm now a child of God. Hallelujah. Congratulations. You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com. That's tni.msia at gmail.com. We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.